Meantime, we're learning more about a fatal plane crash on Gabriola Island last night. Nitu Garcha is covering that story. Nitu, when did the plane go down? Well, Paul, officials say it happened around 6.30 last night. The crash killing multiple people after that plane went down in cloudy conditions where visibility was poor. Emergency crews from various departments have descended on the area in full force. The aircraft crashed on the northwest corner of Gabriola Island, which is just off the east coast of Vancouver Island. There's still no word on how many people were on board, the type of plane involved, or what caused it to crash. But according to an online flight tracking website, it was a six-person Piper Aerostar plane that was heading north from the U.S. at around the same time of the crash. Now, it shows the aircraft disappearing near Gabriola Island, where paramedics from various agencies were called in. The Gabriola Volunteer Fire Department was also involved after the plane reportedly burst into flames. It's believed the plane crashed on land, possibly near a park. BC Hydro says it did knock out power to one customer who reported the plane crashed on their property on DeCourcy Drive in the Twin Beaches area. It's near the road that links the main island with the peninsula. The impact did knock out power to that home and has since been repaired. Now several people there describing how the plane appeared to be flying low and say they felt their homes shake when it went down. Well, I'm still shaking. I'm just panicking. I'm just thank gosh, gosh it didn't how to hit a house that I know of anyway. We heard like a thump and like all the the china wear and stuff in my mom's cupboards we heard it all kind of clatter and then um and then a few friends in the neighborhood also just started texting us and saying that i think a plane just crashed yeah, horrific sight for those residents. Now, there are a few details on the victims. The crash will be investigated in partnership with the Transportation Safety Board, which says three of its members are taking a ferry over from Vancouver this morning to gather information and try to determine what happened. Paul? Thanks, Nitu.